Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I do thank and praise God for this opportunity for us to gather in this uh, forum called Wisdom and Wonder in God's Word. Thank God for everybody who's blessed to be here today. Those who will join us, we encourage us that we would just encourage others to join in. Yeah, if this uh, time of sharing in the Word may be of some benefit, to others, uh, please share, please encourage them to join us. Amen. Um, we just want to be about the Lord's work and do it, dealing with one little part of the Lord's word for this um, span of time. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glad you're with us. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we do thank and praise you for this day, God. Thank you because your rule is sovereign lord and providential you don't have to call a committee meeting to to do you just do because you are who you are oh god we thank you today that you call us your children lord we thank you for the privilege of just worshiping you and serving you and loving you and being loved by you god oh god in the name of jesus oh bless our time lord together today in the name of jesus speak to our to our hearts speak to our souls speak to our spirits god from your word that we may be stronger that we may be better uh, that we may avoid uh, distractions that we may regain our place and our momentum whatever your will is lord for each of us individually and for all of us collectively lord as your children we come humbly before the throne of grace lord we come understanding what the older saints prayed about year, how they prayed years ago saying that we do come as bad children before a good parent Lord and we come as empty pictures before a full fountain Lord we need direction and, and we need correction Lord and we need to be filled even again and again bless this time of sharing God we pray for the souls of the unsaved God we pray uh, for the souls of the backsliders Lord and we pray for the strengthening of the saints in Jesus' strong name amen hallelujah well bless the lord on my soul it's so good to be with everybody today i really do count it a blessing and i'm humbled that we can gather in this um, particular forum i pray that it will grow and that we will have more and more folk to just join in and um, and spend this little time in the word of god amen amen and of course little can become much uh, when we place that thing in the Lord's hands, so we thank Him for this time, and we want to we're going going to redeem the time, and use it wisely. Now we're in the book of James, Amen. We have been for a good while now, Amen, and uh, we're just uh, approaching it in the, in an expository style, just reading verse by verse or verses that are very akin, reading them together. And, uh, and just hearing what the Spirit was saying to to those uh, scattered Jewish Christians uh, who were uh, in the midst of persecution and what the Word is saying to us as Christians in the 21st century uh, um, in what some call the post-modern age um, with all that... Um, that the world offers today that is so often confusing I tell you um, I just thank and praise God for his word amen because when everything else fails amen as the old song says when everything else is going down his word will still be going up amen we thank God for that so um, we've gone through several gatherings and we're now in chapter 1 and today we're focusing on verse 26 chapter 1 verse 26 the whole of chapter 1 is called genuine religion or what we're calling genuine faith amen that just shows you how time causes shifts because there was a, a a time when we talked about religion we meant faith amen but now um, in, in our um, in pluralistic culture and and with the rise of all kinds of religions um, uh, we we have to be a little more definitive and talk about um, uh, uh, our faith 
in God through Jesus Christ. Amen. We have to be specific. Our faith in God through Jesus Christ. Amen. And so this entire chapter 1 talks about genuine religion, genuine faith. Amen. And uh, in, in this verse, verse 26, amen, I just put the caption, um, genuine faith, the hyphen, and then managing my mouth. Amen. Genuine faith, then a hyphen, and then managing my mouth. Amen. Uh, managing my mouth. Amen. Amen. This is Amen. Um, James one twenty six. Amen. James one twenty six. Genuine faith. Managing my mouth. Amen. Amen. Well, who among us has not been in situations where uh, we either said what we couldn't retract and and uh and had to just uh humble ourselves or we didn't say what we should have said and felt um that at that moment we'd allowed ourselves to become um uh, impotent or to become of no value amen uh so um this this controlling the mouth is is um is a critical thing in our witness for the Lord. Now, I know um, sometimes people describe, we describe ourselves in different ways. And sometimes we say of ourselves or we say of someone else, um, I'm just very outspoken or he or she's very outspoken and they just say whatever's on their mind and all that sort of thing. Amen. And there may be a time and a situation for that. But uh, the word of God causes us to know that an unchecked mouth, a mouth with no control, a, a mouth where folk just spit out anything they want, anytime they want, um, is not a mouth that represents the Lord. Amen. 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 I don't know uh, why in, in among Christians, um, many of us seem to be more outspoken than among other people uh, i don't know whether it is a carryover from um from uh, from days of bondage and after bondage where the, the the church became the one place people could kind of say what they wanted to say i i don't know where it has come from but um as in every other area of life managing my mouth is is critical management of self is critical amen and when i haven't managed myself or when any of us haven't managed ourselves amen then um we end up in a pickle <laughs> amen amen but managing the mouth i tell you what now you know those words those words just blurting words out um, I, I make it akin, and you may have a better, better illustration, but I'll give the little one I have. Uh, not managing our mouths is like just grabbing the bottom of a, 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 a full tube of toothpaste and just squeezing that thing as hard as we can and having toothpaste just uh, squirt out all over the place and then realizing all we needed was a pearl-sized drop of the toothpaste uh, well uh, to to how effective are we going to be in putting the toothpaste back in the tube not effective at all and so it is with um, unmanaged mouths uh, it, it causes loss it causes damage um, in, in so many ways in so many ways Amen. Loss um, of, of uh, fellowship, loss of um, respect, loss of, of so many things. Um, so, so it's critical that we deal with this one verse. And I'm about to read the verse. Um, this is James chapter 1, verse 26. 
James chapter 1 verse 26 and the verse reads if any man among you seems to be religious and bridleth not his tongue if any man among you seems to be religious and bridleth not his tongue but deceiveth his own heart this man's religion is vain this man's religion is vain my lord so we're going to explore that verse um, very briefly and uh, allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us uh, and and just find us where we are um, and and lead us uh, to a better place um, lead us to a more peaceful place amen now hear this this is not about trying to go back and hand out some punishment for uh, times bygone where we have mismanaged our mouths um, this isn't about trying to go back and put that toothpaste back in the tube this is about seeing where we are right now and where we can adjust ourselves whether it's a small tweak or a major adjustment how can we adjust ourselves so that we might better please the Lord? Amen. And when he gets the glory out of it, it'll it'll be for our betterment. Amen. We don't have to worry about the benefits for us. Just be sure that God gets the glory. When he gets the glory, it'll 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 be for our good. Um so we examine this. I'll read the verse again and we'll go through it. If any man among you seems to be religious and bridleth not his tongue but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. So um, the, the warning is against a, a religion that has zero value, a faith that has zero value, a, a faith of no impact, a faith of no consequence. A faith that can't encourage self or anybody else. A faith that can't speak life to dead, dead situations. A faith that cannot serve as an effective witness. Amen. That That's when our religion, our faith becomes vain. It becomes uh, full of self and not full of God. Amen. It becomes useless. It becomes useless. It becomes useless amen so what does that look like or what does that involve if any man among you seem to be religious it invo it involves my declaration it involves who I say I am if I say I'm a saint of the most high God then this applies to me if I say I'm saved, this applies to me. If I say I'm born again, this applies to me. If I say I'm converted, this applies to me. Amen. Amen. If, if I claim membership in the body of Christ, this applies to me. That means I seem, I appear, I, um, I, I, my claim is that I'm religious or I'm a person of faith. Amen. It, it, it didn't just, just mean my external appearance, um, the clothes I put on. It, just, it, it, it includes that, but it, it's not just that. It's not just about external appearances, but it's about my, my claim. What am I saying? Am I saying I'm saved? Am I saying I belong to the Lord? If I, am I saying Jesus is my Savior? Am I saying the Lord is my shepherd? I, I, I give the indicators that I'm a person of faith. The next por portion of the verse says, And bridleth not his tongue, and doesn't manage or control that tongue. That little pink muscle in that cavity we call a mouth. Yeah, that little pink muscle in that cavity we call a mouth. And bridleth not his tongue. What does a bridle do? A bridle um, gives the one who wears the bridle 
uh, us or uh, 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 an animal we're using tells them to stop to start to turn left turn right to back up uh, the control that's the control if I don't control my tongue amen if I don't realize that yeah I, I can't say everything that comes up can't come out if I don't inform what would want to run out of my mouth by uh, by by doing what uh, Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 through 8 uh, say especially verse 8 verse 8 says think on these things I can't just wait to see whether I, I can keep anything from slipping out I've got to I got to be predisposed amen I've got to um, I've got to be preemptive and the way I'm preemptive is by by minimizing the likelihood of losing control by controlling what I think so if I think on the right kinds of things I'm much less likely to lose control of my tongue but if I think on foolishness think on evil think on dirty stuff think on revenge think on payback think on getting somebody thinking on getting one up on somebody if I think on those things if I think on those things then I, I, I will lose control of them. I won't I won't I won't practice control over my mouth because I'm gonna say things that suit what I've been thinking about yeah I've been waiting on you I'm cocked I'm, I've been waiting for you to give me a chance to say something and then we'll even get the Lord try to get him involved he won't get involved but we'll try to get him involved in, in my and I'll miss oh thank you Lord I'm I've been hoping you give me a chance no Lord didn't give you no chance for that don't lie oh God no the Lord the Lord gives us power and love and self-control amen um, that's what he gives us uh, but that loose that those loose lips and that loose tongue and I need I'm gonna say anything I want to say and get anything I want to get off my chest no no a whole lot of those things on our chest we take it to the Lord in prayer he'll take it away he'll take it away so I've got to I've got to deal with the, the what I'm putting forward if I'm claiming if my claim is if my claim is that I am religious that I'm a person of faith that I'm saved that I'm sanctified that I'm a Christian that I'm born again that I'm converted if I claim anything like that then I, if, I, if I don't bridle my tongue I, the next thing says I'm deceiving myself I, but deceiveth his own heart man the worst person to get tricked is to trick myself to fool myself to deceive myself yeah but deceiveth his own heart so I practice no self control I claim I'm a child of God I, all, whatever title whatever name I give myself my identity uh but I practice no self-control. I practice no management over my tongue. I just spew all the toothpaste out the tube any time and every time I get ready on anybody. I'm, you know, I'm always in the anger mode. I'm always in the telling off mode. I'm always in... Come on, saints. I've deceived myself because... I've tricked myself in my heart to believe that I am who I'm not. Because if I am religious, then I will bridle my tongue. I will not walk in, in deceit. Amen. And my religion, my faith is not in vain. 
So if I want meaningful faith, if I want effective faith, if I want faith that can make an impact, if I want a witness that can encourage somebody, if I want to be able to speak life in situations, if I want to represent the Lord well in the earth realm, then I don't want to deceive my heart. I don't want, I don't want to deceive myself in my heart. I don't want to fool myself that I'm something when I'm nothing. And, and I don't want that deception to be manifested by an unbridled tongue, an out of control tongue. A tongue always caught up in confusion, always caught up in mess, always caught up in negativity, always caught up in spilling the beans on somebody else. Now, those folks seldom spill beans on themselves, but they always got something to spill on somebody else. And then sometimes we want to make it sound sanctified by saying that what we're saying ain't nothing but the truth. Well, number one, it's not the truth because the truth is in the word of God. It may be facts, but it may not be the truth. But then did God hire you or anoint you to be the town crier, to go around speaking all the facts you know about somebody else? I think with all of us just get, get a, if we come to grips with how wonderful the Lord has been in forgiving us of all the facts in our own lives, we'd be really slow to want to spill beans on anybody else. If we know some facts, pray. Pray for the strength. Pray for them to turn around. Pray for things to get better. Pray for their eyes to be open. Look, we are not in competition with one another. So I'm not going to look better by making you, you look worse. That's foolishness. It is not of God. Well, if any man among you, any man or woman, anybody seems to be or gives the appearance or has a testimony of being a person of faith or a religious person and, and does not practice bridling or managing or controlling his tongue he deceives his own heart and his religion is worthless Ooh, James, pretty profound medicine, yes. James was talking to people under persecution. James said, even under persecution, you can't just say anything you want to say, even about your persecutors. You say what the Lord will say. You say what brings glory to the Lord. Say what brings glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. That's a, this is a packed verse, and I could say the same thing over lots of different ways. Uh, but the truth of the matter is, um, that is the lesson. Oh, that we would but receive this word and hide His word in our hearts. We cannot again. We're, this is not about. Um, um, brow beating anybody for toothpaste that got out of the tube last year, last month, yesterday, 10 years ago, 20 years. This is not about that. This is about how do I do it better now from where I am? How, how, how do I improve my testimony now? How, how do I shore up what I say I am and who I say I am by what I do and how I do it by controlling this tongue managing this tongue how does the Lord uh, get glory how do I cause heaven to smile uh, by controlling this tongue Doesn't, it isn't about 
being weak. It's about being controlled. That's the work of the Holy Ghost. But he will do what we permit him to do. He's not going to knock down doors. He's not going to arrest us. He'll just leave. Let's be wise, saints. Let's be wise. Let's be examples. Hallelujah. Great, 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 powerful word, powerful lesson, powerful admonition, powerful instruction. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, we pray that will bring uh, healing and help to those of us who need it. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this word. Oh, God. Uh, your word is sure. Your word is right. Your word is on time. Your word is sufficient. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. We don't need to seek around it. We don't need um, an affirmation from another source of your word. The word stands on its own, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for loving us so much. Sometimes we get relaxed. And sometimes in our getting relaxed, Lord, we just uh, do things the way we want to do it. And we assume because we are your children that it, it, it must be all right. My Lord, thank you for causing us to keep a watch over our souls, Lord. And keep a watch over ourselves, over our hearts, over what we keep in our hearts, over our tongues, over um, our testimonies. Lord, in the name of Jesus, forgive us now of any unconfessed sins, God. In the name of Jesus, wash us again with the blood of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for healing and wholeness tonight, today. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh, God, I pray for those who may be struggling with this matter of managing uh, my tongue. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for encouraging them, for letting them feel on their own inside, Lord, that you are building them up right now and you're blessing them right now to be able to do just that, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, bless and keep your people, God. Oh, God, bless what we, the things we seek to do uh, in your name and for your glory, God. Oh, God, we know that little can become much when we place it in your hand, God. Have your way. Have your way, God. Have your way. Thank you for watching. Thank you for cleansing. Thank you for teaching. Thank you for correcting. Oh, God, thank you for building us up. We yield it all for your glory. God, we pray. We pray even again for that sinner, that soul that's nearest to hell, that person that's unconcerned, unconvicted, unconverted, doesn't want anybody to say anything to him. God, oh God, oh God, just let a situation prevail that will cause them to know that you're God all by yourself. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we pray for our children, our precious children, God. Oh, God, keep them in the name of Jesus. Keep them, God. Keep them, God. Keep them, God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for our elderly, God. Thank you for their faithfulness now through the years. Keep them, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, and we thank you for everybody in between. We thank you for that. Those who may be struggling to make ends meet. Oh, God, you can take a little and make it a lot. Cause them to listen to you, God, in the name of Jesus. Those who may have more than enough, give them wisdom about how you would have them distribute the means with which they've been blessed. Thank you for doing it. We all offer it all for your glory today. Hallelujah. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my Lord. We love you, 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 God. We truly, truly love you, God. In the name of Jesus, be glorified even in our lives, through our tongues. In Jesus' name, now keep us. 
as we wrap this uh, time of sharing up. Keep us till we meet again. Bless the tie that binds our hearts in Christian love. In Jesus' sufficiently strong name, we pray and we believe. We blood bought, blood washed believers say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God bless you, saints. We love you. We love you. I love you. I love you. We really do. God bless you and keep you. Better days are still ahead of you. God bless you.